There are many ways that we can solve these different equations for the given variable, but I'm gonna stick with the mantra that anytime the equation that is in front of you has a fraction, multiply both sides by the denominators and then relook at it. So in this one right here, I have denominators M and T. So I'm just gonna multiply both sides by M and T. When I do that, this M gets rid of this M. So what's left over is a T and an N. So T multiplied by N equals, and then on this side, this T gets rid of that T. So left on the right side is a two and an M. Okay, and then from there, now I'm gonna relook at it. So solve for T. Well, what's preventing the T from being alone is the N, and it's right next to it, so that's multiplication. So I'm gonna get rid of multiply by N by dividing by N. What I do to one side, I do to the other. The N's are gone, T is by itself, and so T equals 2M over N. Okay, so we're just gonna keep it simple that way. I see a fraction, I will immediately multiply both sides by the denominator or denominators. In this case, there's only the denominator M, so I'm gonna multiply both sides <coughs> by M. This M gets rid of that M, so then I end up with 7M on the left equals, and then just the F there on the right-hand side. We're solving for M, so to get rid of the seven next to the M, I'm gonna divide by the seven. And so M is gonna equal F over seven. Okay, so just a couple more here. Um, again, I see an equation, it's got a fraction in it. So I'm gonna immediately multiply both sides by any denominators. The denominator is R. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by R on the left side. The R cancels and I have C by itself equals, and then on the right-hand side, I have two X and R. We're asked to get R by itself. And so what's preventing R from being by itself is multiplying by both two and X. You can get rid of those at the same time. So I'm gonna divide by two and X. What I do to one side, I do to the other. So we just got rid of the X's, they cancel, the two's cancel, R is by itself, and R is gonna equal the fraction C over two X. Okay, just a couple more, maybe overkill, but hopefully you'll have it. I've got a fraction, so I immediately multiply both sides by any denominators. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by A. This A gets rid of that A, so I have KF, equals, and on the right side, I have M times A. I'm trying to solve for A, and so I'm like, okay, A is getting multiplied by M. So the opposite of multiplying by M is dividing by M. What I do to one side, I do to the other. Those cancel, A is by itself. And so the answer is K times F over M. Okay, last example here. I see an equation, it has a fraction, so I multiply both sides by the denominator. The denominator is G, so let's multiply by G. And on the left-hand side, I now have G times M times H. These Gs cancel, E is by itself, so equals E. And then I would like to get rid of the M and the H because I'm solving for G. So divide by M times H. What I do to one side, I do to the other. And I have G by itself. Again, there are other ways that you could solve these ones, but a great first step, when you see an equation that has a fraction, if you multiply both sides by the denominators, the fractions go away. And usually for students, it's easier to solve once the fractions are gone.